Well, okay. Yeah. No, no, there, and there are a lot of things you can do. Yeah, because exactly, you yeah, have the formatting, and many times they'll have a photocopy of a PDF, and so the formatting can be a disaster, especially because then you have to create your own table, or you have to use their table, and all the formatting goes out of whack. The best thing you can do usually is before, so you, you give a quote, and then you say, um, you know, I can confirm this once you send me the file to be translated, because once they send you the actual file to be translated, then you can get a better idea usually. So if this is your first time, then... It, it, you know, yeah, unfortunately, actually, it's probably good that it happened now because now you've already learned, you know, after your first translation, you're never going to make this mistake again, if you will. You know, your, your, your antenna will always be ready for something like this. Um, so what I would do is, yeah, you, you give your quote and then, um, and then if they send it to you and you realize there's a lot of formatting to be done, then, you know, you can, you can always say, be like, look, this takes a lot of formatting. Many times what they'll say is just, they'll say, Either, oh, just translate the text, we'll handle the formatting, or, um, uh, you know, the, the, I mean, if you're doing it pro bono, then uh, th this doesn't really count, but they might give you a couple more days or something like that because, you know, it's so much to deal with. Um, but yeah, because uh, that can definitely be an issue. And I've, I've done translations, and uh, when you get in, if you get into transcriptions and stuff, then it can get a whole other mess, transcription translations. But um, it's when they have audio and you have to transcribe the audio into words and, and then translate. And that can be a real issue because they have timestamps and they, yeah, don't worry about that now. But yeah, if that's something you get into, it can be, it can yeah, be a whole other headache. Um, no, but what I would, it's always best if you can get a copy of the file to be translated and uh, before you confirm. So, you know, usually you send out your email, you say, this is my rate and uh, you know, I'm available for whatever you need. And then they should send you the, tra the thing to be translated and uh, at which point you can confirm, you know, I'll do it for this much and all that. Also, you always, you always want the document because many times the word count they come up with or stuff like that is totally off. You never know. Yeah, they can, uh, you know, either because they don't know how to do the word count correctly or they're kind of guessing or something got changed later or, you know, they're trying to get away. I mean, who knows? But you always want to be able to confirm, um, you know, and usually they'll, after they send you the file, they want confirmation from you that it's okay and that you can handle it, etc. So um, once you look at the file, then you can get a better idea, especially after you've done the formatting, you'll get a better idea how to go about the formatting and, uh, and if it'll take you a long time. Well, uh, there's several ways to do it. First of all, I would write, instead of my rate, I would write my standard rate because then your standard is your standard, but it can always be a bit less or more depending on what happens. No, 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 per word. I would still do a standard rate per word, but then I would say, oh, but because this requires more formatting, it will, you know, instead of a total of, uh, you know, whatever it might be, um, you know, three, 310 pounds, it'll be 325 or I don't know, something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, it, honestly, it, it depends how you feel more comfortable and how with the client. Usually what I do is I give a standard rate and then if, if I see that they require a whole lot of formatting or something that... If it's a certain amount of formatting and that I feel I can do and, you know, it's okay and it makes the client happy, then I'll do it even if it takes a bit of time. If it's, a, you know, too much for them to expect, like in a normal translation, then I usually let them know. I say, look, this, this formatting will take me at least two hours or something like that. And, um, and you know, so you can either pay me for my time or, uh, you know, or, or something like that. And so usually... No, so what I do is I, I usually just give my rate for the whole job because it's easier for them. And, you know, so I factor it in. If my rate for the translation will come out to 110 pounds and then I figure out, you know, it takes me an hour or so to do that. And uh, so I round it up to 140 or something like that. I'll be like, I can do all this and have it formatted all perfect for you for 140 pounds. If they say anything about the rate, I say, well, it takes a lot of formatting. If you want me to just give you a text thing, I can do it for 110. But, you know, the... And uh, that, that's why a certain amount of formatting, I do it for free, but only if it becomes like a ridiculous amount. Exactly. That takes my time away from other things. Then I say, no, you know, that it depends from person to person. And you'll get a lot better feel once you start doing more translations uh, because you, you'll know what your time is worth and how much time you could be dedicating to other translations. But um, at the beginning, it really has to be a judgment call based on you. I don't know what this document was. But I would say if it takes more than an hour to format, you know, that's an hour's worth of your time that you could have been doing something else. So at that point, maybe do something. Um, I, I have also seen other things where people say I can do translation and uh, I can offer you the translation for this rate.
Plus, I'll need an hour formatting. My, my uh, price for formatting is so-and-so per hour. And uh, so you can try something like that. And, uh, you know, you can say, obviously, I'm a translator, but I, I can do, you know, uh, relatively simple formatting and uh, you need it for this. And so this is my rate. Whatever you feel most comfortable doing, honestly, um, you know, and then uh, because it'll, it'll probably be, you know, the client has to get back to you and you need to feel comfortable talking to them about it. So. Yeah. Right. And uh, exactly. I would do something like that. And uh, yeah, 350, 360, like I usually exactly either factor it in or round it up and, um, and, and yeah, and then see how they respond. If you, if, and if you do feel a bit guilty or whatnot about doing it that way, you can always say, that, um, you know, this is my total amount. This includes 325, whatever, for translation plus X amount for uh, formatting. Um, 